I want this. A few years ago, I discovered an x86 port Android, and today I'm finally going to be checking it out and installing it on a laptop, and I'm bringing you guys with me. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go. We're on the laptop. So we got our USB stick right here. Now we're going to stick into the computer, turn it on, and spam that F12 key. There we go. So let's just boot off of the USB hard drive thing. And we want to go advanced here. Um, auto install to specified hard disk. There we go. So let's go hard disk. Yes. So now, next time I'm going to speak to you, Android will be installed. In the meantime, let's start a time lapse. So we're going to reboot, and I just hit the camera, take out the USB stick, and throw it over there, and boot up Android, and accidentally knock the camera. Okay, hi there, English United States. I would like to change this to English United Kingdom start. To Wi-Fi okay now it actually shows the Wi-Fi password as I type it so I'm gonna move the camera out of the way all right there we go I'm connected checking for updates all right probably gonna move the camera a little bit back get over there all right so copy apps and data no oh god this camera is just this camera's bad at filming this uh, yes yeah, skip um is this good yeah that's good next next um no no accept um let's not now not now skip protect your tablet um because this is definitely a tablet yeah yeah this is definitely a tablet well, anyway, we're at the hand Android home screen. I always said Android. Android. Anyway, moving on. We got a few apps here. Calculator, calendar, calibration, camera. The camera in this, in this works actually really good. I am not going to open this app because one, it'll show my face and two, will show some bits of my room that you don't want to, that I don't want you to see. Chrome. Let's open up Google Chrome. Uh, no. Where do I put that SD card? Oh yeah, it's here. So yeah, this SD card, this will actually make another appearance later on. Because I am going to be using this SD card that I am currently spinning right now, this Toshiba card. I'm just going to keep spinning this. Just for fun, really. Alright, so search YouTube. Let's search whale tag I cannot type today aha there it is installing Arch Linux outside yeah let's watch that why do I keep getting why do I keep getting these videos every time I watch this one for the first time Zorno S17 Fixing a boot looping Surface Pro 6. Yeah, I keep getting these videos. What? Hey, one for this. Let's turn this up to 1080 and turn up the volume. You know, there's been a lot of people. What? Oh, there we go. Let's turn up the volume. Recently, just telling everyone to go outside, touch some grass. So, forget it. Oh my god, this stuff. camera! Yes, I'm gonna have my USB stick out Stop. here and we're installing Arch Linux. Just look at my hand on the camera. Yeah, this is what I this is what I get for trying to film Android with an iPhone. Linux outside. 
So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Oh and this God, is the know. same computer right here, just outside and having Arch Linux installed on it instead of Android. Let's just watch this. Let's just watch this Jigger video. Wait, what should we watch? Oh yeah, shout out to Jigger Tech for making um for making it on this video. Running Android on a PC. Okay. Pretty interesting. Hello, welcome to this again. So Android, right? Pretty neat operating system, mainly used on phones and tablets. It's also owned by Google. But what if I think having my primary operating system being owned by Google is very cool and want my computer's operating system to also be owned by Google and I don't want to install Chrome OS? Well, a uh, fun fact, you can install Android on computers. Yes, yeah, I know. We are currently today. doing I that. Do okay, stop. So, yeah, that's Google Chrome. Clock. Contacts. What's DevTools? Instrumentation. What is instrumentation? I don't know. Running processes. Let's try and just end random things. System. Wait, no, I can't. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. Gmail. We can send some email. Files. So this SD card here, we're going to stick it in. And it has like 60, I don't even, it's like 60 WAV files on it. Yeah, Whale Tech BGM right here. So let's play this. Speaker in here is actually not that bad. Oh, uh, let's. Uh, this. Enough. Uh, what else? Yeah, okay. Let's just. Alright, so that's that. Oh, uh, we've got gallery here. If I actually take some photos or put some photos on here, then I will then I will show them. I will just take a picture. After I get out of the scene first. There we go, I'm out of that program now. Uh, so that's gallery. Gmail, Google, music, music some music and okay it's pulled everything from my SD card let's play this. still playing okay we can do a terminal and you know what we're doing Sue. can I just go rm dash rf slash dot Oh yeah, I think I deleted, I think I just deleted everything. Let's turn it off. And let's turn it back on. I seriously think I just destroyed it. I'm taking out this SD card. 
I think it actually, I think it seriously wiped this whole SD card. I think it actually did. Let me just stick it into a computer to find out. Did it wipe the SD card? And yes, it did. It wiped the SD card. And wait, is it booting? I thought I did RMRF. And it's seriously booting. After I RMRF the root. Okay, yeah, so I guess RMRFing the root brings, brings you back to the setup. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's, this is actually it for the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye!